When it comes to trading ICT concepts or specifically looking for a ICT model or strategy, it can get very complicated as a beginner or even as an advanced trader as there are many options to choose from. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I think is the best free ICT models that you could choose from and also I'm going to show you which model you should choose based on your trading style. First, we're going to talk about the different models that we're going to talk about in this video. Now, the first one is called the Market Maker buy model or market maker sell model or just MMXM and this model is very interesting as you can get a lot of different trade entries using this model as we have the low risk buy the first stage accumulation and second stage accumulation and then we also have some great areas where we could target as when price makes the smart map reversal everything on the left now becomes low resistance liquidity and an example of this would be right here where we can see we have sell side of the curve or the original consolidation up here sell side of the curve smart money reversal price sweeps that sell side liquidity we have our change in state of delivery low risk buy within here and then price just continues on the buy side of the curve now the mmxm model is a great choice when you are a little bit more advanced trader but of course you could also use this as a beginner as you can get a lot of trade opportunities using this model, as I just mentioned before, because price usually makes reaccumulations, which then means price is going to make retracements. An example of this would be, let's say, right down here. We have our smart amount reversal, price sweeps to sell side liquidity, and then we get that change in state of delivery. Now, the low risk buy could be this fair value gap within here that is paired with the change in state of delivery. And if you don't want to take this trade that early on, then you could wait for the second stage accumulation or the first stage accumulation. If you use our standard deviation tool, you can see price run out this high and then makes a retracement, returning into this CB or BC, sorry. And then from there, price just keeps going on makes another retracement so if you aren't really comf that comfortable taking a trade entry within here then you can wait for the second stage reaccumulation and from there you can then target the original consolidation so the mmmx model there's a lot of uh, trade opportunities for you to get within the market if you didn't really catch the first one the next ict strategy or model that we're going to talk about is called the accumulation manipulation distribution amd slash power of free model and basically just a short recap of what this model is is price is consolidating meaning price is training within the same general range then price is manipulating meaning that price is manipulating out of that consolidation range, also reaching an important level. And then after that, price is distributing in the opposing direction of where price manipulated. An example of this would be right here. We can see that price is consolidating. Then price manipulates higher, sweeping the high of the accumulation and also sweeps this high up here. Then after that, price starts distribute lower, as we can see reaching sell side liquidity and we can also use our standard deviation tool on the manipulation leg and we can see that this low was paired with the minus one to minus 1.5 range we can also go down into the five minute time frame and see how this looks down here where we can see the price was consolidating price manipulated higher moved lower made a ifg reached up into that ifg and then start distributing lower from there. So that is also one of the models that I prefer to use and just one of the models that you can really get great trade entries with either in the manipulation leg or in the distribution leg. The next ICT model or concept that we're going to talk about is called external and internal range liquidity. And the reason I have put this here in the third place is because I think if you can use this in the right way and make your own model out of this it can be very beneficial as you always have a draw on liquidity when using external and internal range liquidity and always have a bias so if you compare this with your own trading strategy or your own trading model then it can be very very powerful an example of this would be right here we can see the price reach up into a premium of the range where there lies a fair value gap 
Now this would be considered internal range liquidity, right? So then if we just drop down into the 15 minute time frame, we could then see that this fair value gap was also paired with a swing high. So then price ran or made a retracement up into internal range liquidity, where it becomes the drawn liquidity now. It of course becomes external range liquidity, which is right down here. And we can indeed see price ran the external range liquidity. And an example of where we could use this is, for example, let's say we would consider this the manipulation leg as price we know made a retracement up into that internal range liquidity, which we could be anticipating a reversal to occur from. Then we could use our standard deviation tool on this and see that the minus two is almost paired with that external range liquidity. So already we have that drawn liquidity, which is what we're looking for use when we're using internal and external range liquidity. And if we just see, we can actually have a singular IFEG within here. So a trade entry could be placed here, stop loss above this high, as we would no longer see price return to internal range liquidity, target external range liquidity, a easy five to score ratio. So that's why I've put external and internal range liquidity at this third place, because if you can use it in the right way, it is very, very powerful. Now we have reached a point in the video where we're going to talk about which ICT model you should trade with based on your trading style. And the first one we're going to talk about is the MMXM. And I think you should trade this ICT model if you like to have a little twist within your trade entry, as when using this MMXM model, you can be very flexible as there are more trade opportunities when trading the MMXM model. And you could maybe add a little IFEG model within there. And you could, of course, also just trade based on a change in state of delivery. And you could also get that early trade entries using the low risk buy, etc. And another reason is because usually we have a clear draw on liquidity, which is the original consolidation. And then there's also a lot of low resistance liquidity when we are trading this MMXM. As we know, when price have reached a smart man reversal, everything on the left side then becomes low resistance liquidity. So that's some of the reasons why we want to trade the MMXM model. The next ICT model that we're going to talk about is the MD model. And the reason and the MD model can be very useful is that we have often a clear understanding on when price is going to distribute lower and where price manipulated. As when price is consolidating, we of course know that price is going to purge one of the sides at a point. And when price reaches one of the sides and also reaches an important level, then anticipating a smart money reversal should be very easy to anticipate. Now, when price reached that smart money reversal, and we can see that price returned into the accumulation. So as we can see, for this example, price ran the higher the accumulation, also reached an important level. And then when price is starting to move lower, that's where we now have the clarified bias that price is going to distribute lower. So that's one of the benefits by using the AMD model. Another one is that if we use it correctly, we can get a very early trade within the manipulation leg. So if we could be anticipating price to reach the high of the accumulation as we could have a draw on liquidity on the other side, and then we can see, let's say we were in the lower time frame, and let's just zoom in here. Then we can start seeing that price reached that level and is starting to move lower, reaching within the accumulation. So let's say we were looking at this IFG to be, or this FEG to be inversed, price return into that original or accumulation, I mean, after that returned into the IFG, and then we could catch the whole distribution leg. So if used correctly, we can get very early trades. And of course, if you add your own little twist on this model, then it could be very powerful to use. So I will definitely also recommend doing that. The next ICT model that we're going to talk about, or the ICT concept, was the external and internal range liquidity. And the reason we want to use this, which I already did mention a bit before when we talked about this example, was that price, or we usually already have a clear draw on liquidity. As we know, price moves from internal to external, and then from external to internal range liquidity, and that also a bias is pretty easy to find out. Basically, when you're also using this external and internal range liquidity, you usually have to add your own little twist to it or make it your own ICT model, as it is a bit difficult to make a trade entry based on price moving from internal to external range liquidity. But of course you could do that if you're great at doing it. But I prefer to, let's say, 
price reached that internal range liquidity, then I see maybe this IFG, as I mentioned before, then that's where I would find a trade entry based on that. So making your little twist or your own little twist to it can be very beneficial. This now runs up to the conclusion. And I think all of these ICT models in themselves are very great. And you maybe have noticed that I also talked about adding a little twist to it when we talked about all the examples. And I think the reason you should add your own little twist to it is because when you're adding your own little twist to it, then it can become a bit easier for you to recognize your own strategy and then you could just maybe find more profitability in doing that. And I think you should definitely try try out maybe all of these models one or two times within price action and see if what, what works for you. 